Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Teacher. I am. Yes, I'm, I can. I, I'm really sorry and really sorry. Uh, this is not a good night. <laughs> this is not a good night for me. So the computer has been stalking. Okay. You may have headaches. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. So this is on your manual on page. Uh, well, these are the possible answers that you were discussing over there. Just let me share it with you. And the issue is that uh, the recording. <laughs> okay, let me share it with you this one. These are the questions, the things that you, uh, you have there. Nina, Tony, Sophia, and Kevin. As long as they have this pattern, so these are possible answers, okay? So I hope that you have done. Uh, so on the first one, you can say, can you ask Nina if whether or not she can do us a favor, drive us to the party, or you can use good. How, what do you have on the second one? What do you have on the second one? Could you ask Tony how many friends can I bring to his party? Yes. Uh huh. Can you ask Tony how many friends can I bring to his party? Yes. Okay. So good. And then uh, Sophia. What about Sophia? Sophia, are you going to the party with Jeff? In this case, we're not going. It's not to. It's not good uh, to use tell. So because, yeah. uh -huh, we should add, uh, use as instead of that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. can you ask Sophia? She is going to the to the party with you. Possible, yes. Okay. So you say, could you ask Sophia if? She's going to the party with Jeff. You can leave it like that. Can you ask or could you ask Sophia if she's going to the party with Jeff? Or like this one, which is a little bit more complicated. Remember that uh, we have be, uh, some sentences over there. But in a very simple way, like you say so. Good. And uh, so at the end is Sophia. I mean, can you ask Sophia if she's going to the party with Jeff? Uh huh. And Kevin, do you accept the invitation uh, to Tony's party? Uh huh. What will be Could on that? Could you one? ask Kevin whether or not he's accepted the invitation to Tony's party? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh huh. Whether or not it, he accepted the invitation to Tony's party. Uh, if someone wants to take notes of it, so. Uh, you can do it in a very quickly way. Sorry, we'll I'll leave you a little bit behind uh, after uh, uh, 10, 10, 10. I don't think that I got the, the video from this class, but anyway. Or take picture if you like, but the one that you say. So number uh, number five is Mario. Are you going to give Tony a gift? And number six, and Mary, please return my phone call. Number seven, Dan, you owe me an apology for calling me after midnight. And number eight, Kimberly, I have to return down your invitation. Uh, uh, I mean, uh -huh, to return. To turn down is to turn down your invitation to the movies. Okay, Mario, a message for Mario. Would you tell Mario if he's going 
to give Tony a gift. Would, could you tell Mario he's going to give a, a okay? Oh, another another possibility. Oh, someone else idea. Uh huh. Could you ask? Uh huh. Could you ask also? You said, could you ask Mario if? So we can say we can say in this case. Uh, let me. We can say in this case. Could you ask or can you ask Mario if? He's going to give Tony a gift. That would be good. Or you can uh, or you can say the whole sentence as it is. Mm -hmm. Good, Raul. Annie Marie, please return my my phone call. Can you tell Anne Marie to return my call phone? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what it is. Uh, uh huh. Could you tell Anne Marie to return my phone call? Good. Or could you ask? Number seven, could you please, uh, everybody, write it, uh, write the indirect request in the chat? I would like to see you working over there also. Number seven is said, Dan, owe me an apology for calling me after midnight. Please write your answer on the chat, but please do it. Mm -hmm. I will not open the chat until I have at least six answers on it. I write, I have two. Four more. Time is running, it's only, it's only four minutes, but I will take more time from you, which is not good. Mr. Lopez. Yes. What is the meaning of O? Which O W E? Ah, om. It means om. Uh, I om me uh, to uh, the ver. I will say, use a uh, expression. It's like uh, you owe me a phone call. Me debes una llamada. Una un apology. Uh, uh huh. It's the ver. Thanks. I can say I owe a lot of money also. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like Jack Sparrow says. Okay, guys, only two answers and the time is running. I will I wouldn't like to uh -huh. could you tell Dan that he can uh, he owe me an apology for calling after midnight? Yes. You owe me an okay. Okay, that's, uh, mm -hmm. you can say, could you tell Dan that he owns me? Because it's third singular person, right? So we'll say he owns me an apology. Oh, please ask uh, him not to call me after midnight. Okay. And the last one, we had uh, two minutes, three minutes, two minutes. What it will be? Uh, 
Uh huh. Ah, I got one. Ah, uh, that's the one that I you say. Yes, good. Uh, would you ask Dan again? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And what about Kimberly? Well, guys, the time is up. Uh, you, I know that you're hungry or you're sleeping, right? <laughs> so about Kimberly, this is the this is the the possible answer. Could you tell Kimberly I have to return down her, her invitation to to turn down? Remember that is to turn down her invitation to the movies. Okay, that's one way. And remember that that is up to you. Okay, guys, uh, uh, this is uh, for today's class. I'm sorry that uh, my computer was giving me, and I'm going to uh, about to check it out in order not to have those issues. Have a great weekend. See you sí, next week. Ah, ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. No problem. There, there you are. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Have a nice weekend. Good night, teacher. Good night. Sleep tight. Thank you. Good You're night. welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. My pleasure. Good night. Bye.